Hi, my magical creatures. Okay, so I know I was gone for a really long time. Um, I can explain. I literally met a guy, fell in love with him, and I did not want to tell him I was trans. And I just did not want to out myself. I did not want to talk about that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm here today to tell you guys that just because you have a vagina does not should not disclose that information to the guy that you're dating or whoever. I think honesty is the best policy and you need to tell them up front. And I'm going to tell you my story of what happened. So the reason why I did not tell this guy that I was trans, a post-op trans woman, is because I, this is what my therapist, uh, my psychologist, she told me this. She said that because I have a vagina now, um, I did not need to explain the fact that I'm trans to him until marriage, until he asks me to marry him. Um, she said, that's when it's serious. And then um, you tell him I can't have children because I'm trans. He said, She said, that's what you say. So because she has her PhD and she's educated in this type of field with trans people, I believe I went with it and I ran with it. But in my heart, it did not feel right. I felt like I should have said something, but... I worked so hard to get my face done, my chest, got my Adam's apple removed, and now I have a JJ. So I just felt like maybe, maybe I don't need to say anything, you know, and boy, did I, did I get hurt for it. Um, so I'm going to tell you what happened to me. So that way you won't do the same. And, um, I'm telling you, I feel like the truth always comes out, um, no matter how, far you run, how far um, you try to hide it, the truth always comes out. And I'm also saying for people that cheat on their partners too, that truth always comes out because one day they're going to find out and you're going to slip. Um, so just be just be honest, be upfront, um, no matter how bad it hurts. It's just I feel like honesty is the best policy. Um, so let's get into the story. I'm going to tell you what happened. So I was on an app called OkCupid. Okay um, I was, I think, nine months post-op from, you know, my my gender, my sexual reassignment surgery. And I wanted to start dating again. I wanted to see what's out there. And I thought maybe because I have a vagina now, like, straight guys will actually want to be with me, like good-looking ones. I thought, you know. Um, so I ended up meeting this guy. He was, so I'm 24. He was 29 years old. Had his PhD um had his own house he i'm not gonna say like what he did for a living but he was very had a very good job very professional guy went to college um he had it you know he had it and i'm not saying i was a gold digger or anything like that because i was working uh two jobs i'm not gonna say what i was working um just for privacy and everything like that but um you know, I had my own, I had my own stuff. I don't, I don't need a man. I don't need to depend on another person, but because he had it, you know, he was already self-made. I was like, damn, like, I want to be with a guy that self makes my last boyfriend didn't have anything. I mean, he barely had his life together. So, um, it was definitely a big upgrade for me. Um, so we basically, we hung out, got to know each other. Oh my God, this guy, he was fit too, very muscular really like that too. And he was so intelligent. I mean, this guy was perfect, man. Like I thought I was going to marry this man. Um, we went on the dates and he was so romantic. He would plan things. We would go exploring. I mean, we've made pasta in his kitchen from scratch and then was drinking wine. And then we took it to the park and just had deep conversations about, you know, life and you know, what I wanted, what he wanted. He said, um, you know, I'm looking for a wife. And I said, I, you know, I want something serious too, but, um, you know, I want to finish, you know, nursing school. And he said, that's totally fine with me. And, you know, we just hit it off. We talked, um, every day we texted each other every like second of the day, um, for a whole month. That one month was so magical to me. And I know you guys are probably laughing like, girl, it was only a month. But to me, for not dating in a very long time. And, you know, I was so invested into this man. This man was very invested into me. He remembered the things I would say. Like I said, I never had dragon fruit before. And he 
literally went on um on our next date he got me a bunch of different kinds of dragon fruit to try and i thought that was so kind and like oh my god this guy remembers every little detailed thing that i tell him um he was so romantic he, he was not aggressive with me he you know was so patient with me so kind and he asked me if i wanted kids and i said you know right now no but i mean I said, would you be okay with adopting or something? And he said, why, you can't have children? I just, you know, and I and I lied. And I said, well, I was in an accident when I was a kid and it kind of messed up my reproductive system. You know, I think I made up, made up some last thing. I threw out, I got thrown out the car. I was in a car accident and it threw me out and I landed on myself wrong or something. I said something like that. I mean, this, I was just like, I lied, you know, after one lie, it led to another lie because I was trying to cover up for the other lies that I have made. And I had to remember, this guy remembered everything. I would kind of forget what I told him, you know. And so it came, I had got a revision down there um, on my last surgery. And he asked me, like, what happened there? And I just told him, like, oh, I'm getting Botox down there because, you know, from the accident when I was younger, when I pee, um... When I pee, it's just, um, I can't hold it in, the muscles and stuff. So I'm getting Botox down there. And that's actually a real thing. People do get Botox down there. Um, so, yeah. So then after that happened, you know, he um, he said, okay, it's totally fine, whatever. On the day of my surgery, he texted me at like 5 in the morning. This guy does not get up at 5 in the morning. Um, he doesn't. So um for him to get up at five in the morning was like amazing he texted me saying you know good luck i hope everything's okay and you know everything like that and i was like okay so um after that happened got my surgery got my second my revision surgery down there and um i had a catheter inside of me for like a good three weeks like two three weeks i had a catheter inside of me and this guy, came, and I was moving. Ugh, I was so stupid. Do not ever get surgery while you're moving because I was dumb. I thought I was going to be fine. No, like I had to take a lot of time off of work. Um, and I couldn't move out on time. So um, he came over. He, you know, pack, packed my things up in boxes. He was so kind. Um, he did it so neatly packed. Um one thing about this guy too, he also had a pet octopus and then he had a big saltwater tank and I'm a big, so I love ocean life stuff. And this guy was just so perfect and he was into like bugs and insects and flowers and he was into a lot of like nature things. And I love that stuff too. And, um, and this guy has, has been all over the world. I mean, he like, he introduced me to so many things and I'm just so used of just like working all the time and not going out and stuff. And he just, you know, he just made it very clear, you know, he, I just, I've known, I got to know so much stuff being with him and experienced so many new things when I was with him. And um, he made me feel safe and he just like reassured me that, you know, I was beautiful and, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, it's just, I don't know. Um, after that, um, so the night that we that he was packing my things, I don't know what happened. I could be totally wrong, but I think this is what happened. He, we were on. So after we got done moving things, we were laying on my bed and we were watching a movie on my laptop. All of my old boy photos from high school and younger are were on my computer. I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think he was gonna snoop on my computer, but I did leave for a good couple minutes in the bathroom to drain my catheter out. And you know, my grandmother needed to talk to me for a couple, you know, seconds. And so I think that gave him, a, and he paused the movie on my laptop while I went out, you know. So I'm thinking he probably must have snooped on my computer. And I think he saw my old boy photos. I come back from the room and I basically were laying down. He's kind of like, I sensed something was off, but I wasn't sure what it was. And I said, what's wrong? And he said, oh, nothing. My arm just hurts, whatever. So I was like, okay. So... We ended up kissing for the first time ever and you know we've waited you know a month and to me that was a long time and you know i was just so in love with this man i mean i would have did anything for him um you know he kissed me i kissed him and then you know around 10 30 at night he had to leave 
and so he was just kind of acting weird like he wasn't as like I felt something was off but I wasn't sure what it was um, he kept saying everything was fine but I just felt something in my heart wasn't right and so he basically ended up leaving and he texted me saying like you know good morning or I mean sorry not good morning but you know bye I hope everything is okay with you um, I can't wait to see you again. I miss you and I wish it was Sunday already because on Sunday I was going to go see him and, you know, tell me how beautiful I am and say how lucky he is and say how much he loved me and, you know, so I was like, okay. So I was just like, that's weird. Like I felt something was off, but then he's texting me this stuff. So the next morning at eight o'clock in the morning, I text him, you know, the same routine. I'm like, good morning. I hope you have an amazing day at work. Nothing. I got absolutely nothing from this man. Four o'clock in the afternoon comes around. I text him like, is everything okay? I haven't heard from you all day. That wasn't like us. We texted each other within 15 minutes, you know? So I call him. It goes straight to voicemail. So I call him again. It goes straight to voicemail. I get my grandmother's phone and I'm text I call him off of my grandmother's phone. It's ringing all the way, like seven rings. And then it goes to voicemail. So this guy blocked my number completely ghosted me I mean I can't believe it so I, I I honestly it hurt so much I felt like weak I felt like wanted to hurt myself I had to go see a psychiatrist um it hurt knowing that I got everything done and it still wasn't enough for this man but I think, so, you know, I posted things on social media. I came out on social media, on Instagram. And, you know, a lot of guys, and, you know, I posted, you know, some things about the situation, you know, publicly because I was very hurt. I didn't know what to do. didn't know what to say. And a lot of the guys were like, you know, me as a straight man, I would have been okay dating a post-op trans woman. It's just the mere fact that you lied and you did not come forth with that information from the beginning and I was just like okay that makes sense you know I had to like I will admit when I'm wrong um you know it hurt um I still think about him sometimes it's been it's been about I think like two months it was around in November so it's like almost two months now um I'm over it but I still think about him sometimes, especially when I'm lonely or I'm going through like hardship. I wish, you know, but it's very clear that he doesn't want to be with me. Oh, and by the way, so I went to his house. I left a note. I dropped all his stuff off at his house. He would not come to the door. Wrote a letter saying like, I don't know why you shut down from me. Um, I don't know what I did wrong, but can you please let me know what I did wrong? If you want to break up with me, fine. Um, you know. Here's my number, you know, just call me and just tell me so I can get closure. And um, I said, if you can't even do that, then you can, can you write me a letter back that you know where I live? Absolutely nothing from this man. And I kept calling and texting and just everything. So I even found his friend on Facebook, the one of this girl that they were friends, I guess, or whatever. So, um, I even was texting her on Facebook and I was like, I don't know what happened. Like, do you know what happened? Like, oh, nothing. So I don't know. He could have left me for another woman. He probably doesn't know I'm trans, but I'm honestly telling you guys what I think happened. But I just want you guys to know that even though you have a vagina surgery, no matter how passable you look, I think you should be very honest and upfront from the beginning because if he can't accept you from the beginning, then it's a big waste of time. And these guys, they will flip and switch on you and will put their hands on you if you do not, if you're not honest. I've been threatened a couple times, but I've never had a guy put his hands on me, but I'm just very lucky, you know, but I just, you know, I care about you guys. Um, I just want you guys to be safe and I want 
to tell my story of what happened. A lot of girls don't talk about this when they get vagina surgery and, um, you know, they're very passable and everything. They don't talk about this. So I'm going to, I'm putting my story out there that you need to be honest and upfront from the beginning and tell them, you know, that you're trans or gay, whatever. You, you need to be upfront and you need to tell them, um, because it's a safety issue and they will, and some guys can't handle it. Like the guy that I dated, he ghosted me. Um, I don't know what else to say to that. Um, I was not expecting him to do that because we talked about stuff and I said, you know, please don't ever ghost me. I can't handle that. And I said, if you're not feeling this relationship, let me know and I will go, go on about my life. He said, I would never do that to you. And he did. So, um, just be honest. And, um, I hope this video helps somebody out there. Um, that's why I'm putting my own business out on the internet. <laughs> um, but you know, be yourself and I love you guys. Be safe and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow and also follow my Instagram too. Um, yeah. So bye my magical creatures.